The winter is finally over. Spring is here, the sun's out, and everything's coming to life. There really is no better time than now to get out and explore the island. We're on Roxall Down, just above Ventnor, and today we're going to take a walk with David Grucock of the St. Moore Hotel. David is a real expert when it comes to plants and flowers, as anyone who has stayed in his family-run hotel will know. It is quite simply a gardener's paradise, beautifully planted with all kinds of native and exotic species. So who better to guide us on a spring wildflower walk? Hi David. Hello Steve, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Excellent, great. What a fantastic day, isn't it's it? It's beautiful. I mean, for May, the weather's superb. Yeah, really good. Now, where are we going for our walk today? Well, there's lots of walks up here, but I thought we'd do a nice easy one with a nice pub at the end of it. <laughs> Cause it's absolutely great, isn't it? So we'll start up at the top of Roxall Down, yeah. and we'll walk our way down there. And on the way down, we'll look at the wildflowers and see what wildlife there is around. Uh, nice, interesting walk. Sounds absolutely fantastic. Well, let's get going. You lead the way, and uh, right. we'll have a chat as we go. Okay. So, David, just tell me a little bit about your passion for plant life. I mean, anybody who's been to the St. Moore Hotel will know that you've got a fantastic garden that boasts all kinds of fantastic species. Where, did, where does that passion come from? That came from my grandparents. Uh, they had a large garden. They grew all sorts of things, fruit bushes, different sorts of plants. And that's where the interest comes from. Wow, this is absolutely fantastic from up here. The views. It is. This is why we live on the island. It's all on our doorstep. Where else in the world could you get all this? I don't know. Fantastic. Well, the path's around here, Steve. Right, lovely. I'm following you. Wow, what an absolute vision that is. That is absolutely spectacular. It is, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen so many bluebells. No, no, there's so much of it, isn't it? It's like a thick carpet along the ground. It is, it's a thick carpet of bluebells with a little bit of pink in there as well. I can see some pink flowers there, so, so, so what are they? Well, I think that's wild campion, and they just pick out with the blue, doesn't it? It's really good, it's a real great Can effect. Take a look, I'm interested yeah, in these, sure. uh, and these can be. I also love these bluebells. Now these are these are the, the native wild bluebells. Yeah, they are. They're the indigenous British bluebell. There are two varieties: the the Spanish ones that we all grow in our gardens, yeah. and then there's the ones that grow wild everywhere. So they're this lovely sort of deep, rich blue sort of indigo colour, aren't they? Well, they are, and they're indigenous to Great Britain. I mean, just look at the delicate uh, of them. There are yeah. two types. You've got the big, large ones that we all grow in our garden. And then you've got these little ones, and you can tell they're wild ones because they're on a single stem and all the flowers are on this side. So that, that's the difference. But they spread everywhere and they're wonderful. And they smell, you can smell them. Oh, wow. a wonderful aroma. Yes, yeah, if only you could put that on film, it'd be really good, wouldn't it? Right, let's find these campings. Right. Further left, so clump down here. Yeah. And they're this lovely, this lovely pink colour, aren't they? And as you say, when they contrast against the blue and the green. Yes, it's great, isn't it? I mean, this is what I suppose God intended, didn't he? You know, the, the variance between the blue and the pink, it just stands out beautifully. And uh, it's all part of the British countryside, especially found on the Isle of Wight. Right, on we go then. I'm still thinking about that pint in the pub. I am, I am, and not far off. We've got some more to see yet. And you've got these white bells as well. As you get three varieties, you get blue, you get white, and you get pink bells. Oh, and they, you know, they're dotted around. But they are the same families of blue it's bells? Absolutely the same family, yes. So Dave, there really is plenty to see here, lots of flowers. There what is. else should we be looking out for, do you think? Well, wild garlic, certainly. I mean, you can smell it in the air, actually. I love wild garlic. Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. And the other thing is uh, wild orchids. Well, I didn't know we had wild orchids. Oh, we do. There's several different types of wild orchids, so look out for those. You're really lucky if you see them. Fantastic. Rare as well? Absolutely, yeah, they are very rare. I still can't quite get over just how spectacular this sort of carpet of blue is. I don't think I've ever seen anything. No. This area here, David, in Roxall. Oh, yeah. It's like a little undiscovered, undiscovered lane here. It, it is, it is. I mean, this is where the Downs actually meets, you know, the town, if you like. But this is the old part of the island, the bit that people don't see. They're the very old houses, really quaint, Yeah. really right. worth looking at. 
So, David, you used to live in Rockstall at one time? We did, yes, in 1976 when we first got married. Well, I can understand why. I mean, it's as sweet as anything. It is. I mean, we used to do little walks like this all the time, yeah. Lovely and peaceful, quiet. Look at these little cottages that look, you know, timeless. You can imagine that. They are. I don't know, 100 years ago, and people oh. wanted to go up and down. It was awesome. Uh, oh, you can, can't you? So David, is this a bridge we're wandering onto here? It is a bridge. Not a road bridge or a river bridge. What is it? Well, the answer to the question is right over there. So David, what is this? It looks like ancient ruins, <laughs> Cambodia. <laughs> it does, it does. In fact, it's the old steam railway tunnel that ran from Ventnor to Shanklin. Ah, so it's a train. So how deep then is the tunnel if it goes through there? It's roughly about a mile long. So you just imagine in the days before it closed up until April 1966, one minute countryside, pitch black for the next minute, and then you come out to this wonderful vista, Ventnor railway station and the sea beyond. It must have been a fantastic experience to arrive in Ventnor in those days. I tell you what, walking makes you very thirsty. That's what I've discovered, baby. Yes, I think this is going to be a well earned pint. You know, that's <laughs> right. David, and this is your reward. Oh, I'm sorry. That's brilliant. I tripped, spilled some of it. No, not some to worry about that. Cheers, you good health. Cheers, cheers. That, that, was, was, that was thoroughly enjoyable. It was, wasn't it? Well, you no, know. What a fantastic. I don't think there's anything better. You can't beat that, really. You can't, can you? A nice, long walk, yeah. lots of interest, and then coming to a nice English pub yeah. and uh, having some good beer and some good food. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And the best thing about this one is uh, I chose it because they serve food from 12 till 9, so it doesn't matter what time you come yeah. in, there's always going to be a drink and something to yeah. eat here. Yeah. And, you know, the people are lovely, the clientele's great, so it's a nice place to end up and have a drink. Well, to you get up to the next one. And to I the should, next one. I shall look forward to it. Well, I'll keep that a secret for now. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll pick our time, see what's going on, and uh, but it'll be a good one. Okay, I'll look forward to it. Cheers. Too. Cheers, Steve. The St Moore Hotel in Ventnor is the perfect place to base yourself if you want to explore the island's most beautiful countryside. Join us next time when we'll be discovering another great walk from St Moore.